Oysters, like most other seafood, are now an industry in Maine and a rapidly growing one. In fact, the State Department of Marine Resources says last year's harvest was the biggest ever. Right now, there are more than 100 oyster farms dotting our coastline. As part of our series on Maine's changing climate, David Guilford shows us how one of those companies believes oysters are vital to saving our planet. There are more than 180 aquaculture sites licensed by the state of Maine. Nice and uniform, nice looking shells. The vast majority the, produce the, shellfish. It's generally a really good feeling at the end of the day. One operation is looking far beyond the dinner table. In a warehouse on one of Harpswell's peninsulas, Carl Schultz carefully preserves millions of fragile animals. It's always amazing to us at the end of the year and we go, we just did all this or you have a package in your hand that you've packed up and it's three million oysters and it's just like this big. Here, shellfish are hatched, fed, and tended to. These things that look like grains of sand are actually young surf clams. See how well they're growing just in these Ideally, we want to see that nice bell curve. Jessica Giles is one of 100 employees of Running Tide, a Maine-based startup specializing in kelp and shellfish. To some, this part is shellfish farming 101. We're just moving it on to the next folks to take care of it. But head just offshore. If you've ever shucked an oyster, a lot of times that, that hinge is scooped down or scooped yeah. the wrong way or scooped up. It's really hard to get in there. So Adam Basque is Running Tide's head of shellfish and restoration. He brought us to what looks like a massive homemade pontoon boat that's part shellfish farm, part secret laboratory. If Basque has his way, this is the first step toward cleaning our oceans and thus our planet. Thousands of scientists are saying clearly, not only do we need to reduce emissions, we actually need to remove a lot of this excess carbon that's in the sky. I mean, we're talking hundreds of gigatons. It's hard to imagine gigatons. That's billions of tons of carbon that's up in the sky that needs to be permanently removed. And why are shellfish the stars here? Oysters are amazing species. They are filter feeders, which means they eat by processing large amounts of water through their body. And as they do this, they actually purify the water. Carissa Morin with the Gulf of Maine Research Institute explained that adult oysters and other shellfish can filter 50 gallons of water a day. In the process, they remove algae, plankton, nitrogen, and many particles we dump in the ocean. And they pack them neatly on the bottom. And the trick is, how can you grow them um, in less area and in greater numbers. And that's what we're attempting to do here. And not only that, but then to put data along with that. The scientists and engineers on the work vessel use cutting edge technology. This yellow buoy collects precise data on what's in the water below and feeds it to the onboard computer system, which also controls the machinery that moves the baskets of oysters. And as we progress through the season, uh, more of those steps get linked together and become one hit go and, and, off, and off it goes. They also use some brilliant backyard engineering. For all our access, we weren't allowed to show certain parts of the operation on camera as they're still developing systems they say are one of a kind. And over the course of about two years, the, these guys will will be market size. For its efforts, Running Tide has attracted millions in venture capital investments. Companies either interested in climate efforts or those buying carbon credits to offset their own emissions. Basque and the rest of Running Tide's leadership aim to create patented systems that companies, even countries, can use to fight threats to ocean ecosystems around the world and pay Running Tide to do so. We're building the system to tack it, tap into those markets. Um, when we, they do exist, and we think that they're on their way. In Middle Bay, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. While its ocean filtration operation is still being developed, Running Tide is selling some of its adult oysters to local restaurants, using the sales as both an influx of cash as well as proof that the company's shellfish farming is viable.